Yeah, 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 I know what you guys are here for, but did it ever occur to you that I have responsibilities in other games? Like Star Trek Online, where not only am I a fleet leader and I have to check on the fleet storage and the general health of the fleet every now and then, but I also have to check on my blue alien waifus. That's the pink one. I don't remember her name. Might have been that one? I don't know, there's a lot of them now. Maybe it was this one. Maybe, maybe? Maybe there's too many blue people on my ship. Hello everybody and welcome back to BeamNG Drive and back to Spielers Caldera Bay where we are finally going to put to rest the debate between Caldera and Caldera Caldera. With that out of the way, we can get into the secrets of Caldera Bay. I'm not entirely sure where to start and I assume this is going to be a long recording session. Obviously, eventually we are supposed to make our way to the cave, right? But what is the natural progression of discovery that gets you to the cave? There could be more out there. I know that there's like a radar dish on top of a mountain. That might have something to do with it. There's a shipwreck. There's a boat somewhere. So we're going to find out. And you're not going to be with me the whole time. Trust me. I will clip you back in when I find something or if I have a goofy car accident. Because that seems to be the best way to do it, right? So, once again, let's set off against Spieler's creation, Caldera Bay. Not in gear. I'm looking forward to completing this video because let me think now. Neo, Komodo, and Simulator Adventure has, they, they've all completed videos of this map. But every time they get near the cave system, I turn their videos off. I have to stop because I'm, I'm, I'm I don't want spoilers, right? So, I've not finished any of their videos, and Komodo's video is killing me! It's like 23 minutes long! He did like police chases, and he had fun, and I can't watch it because he goes to the caves right after Bayview Mall. So, after I record this, I'm gonna go watch Neil's video, and Komodo's, and Sim's, and see, see what adventures they had. Here's the boat. Oh, it's a car ferry. You know, we used to have something like this. It was called the S Hawaii Super Ferry, but the environmentalists shut it down. They said it was too dangerous or something. Oh. Sp Spieler. That... My... My... Is that... Can you control of this... If this kidney bean over here has collision? I know there's a shipwreck out here somewhere, but I could have gone in the wrong direction. Which means I'm going to end up circumnavigating this. I hope those rocks don't have collision. Oh my god. I'm going to end up circumnavigating this entire island just to find the shipwreck. I assume the shipwreck has something to do with it. Baby, why don't we go off the Florida Keys? There's a place called Kokomo. That's where you want to go to get away from it all. Bodies in the sand Tropical drink melting in your hands We'll be falling in love To the rhythm of a steel drum band Way down in Kokomo Aruba, Jamaica Ooh, I wanna take ya Bermuda, Bahama Come on, pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego. Baby, why don't we go? We'll get there fast and then we'll take it slow. That's where we wanna go. Way down at Kokomo. This looks sus. This looks like the ground has been exploded from underneath. Uh, I'm sus of this. I don't think my little red car is going to make it up these rocks. Oof. Effect dark chemistry. 
by and by will defy a little bit of gravity. Oh, Jesus. It looks like a hole. Why is my hood glowing? You see that? You see that lighting effect? That makes it look like there's a light source. Oh, you see it? You see it? There's a light source that goes sideways. Okay, now I'm really curious. Oh dear. What in God's name is this, Spieler? Yep, 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 good enough, yep, oh. Got him. Totally legitimate. Can I touch it? Oh, look at that! Look at it! It's got like... Coming out the top of it. You see him? You see the... You see the... Things? They, they look, look, look. They're right there. See him? Spieler, what is this? Where'd you get this? What is this from? Did you make this? Well, I'm guessing that that's part of the lore. I'm not even gonna try and get back out of You know how long it took me to get in here? Oh, that's so cool. Look at it. Look at it. It's such a big impact zone, too. Hi. You guys have been gone for kind of a long time. I made it up to the radar dishes. This has happened multiple times. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I told you to be fine. Oh. The radar dishes? Even though I didn't showcase them in my last video. They don't seem to have anything in particular that is useful for solving the mystery of Caldera Bay. I'm, of course, going to go to the third one anyway, just to make sure. And if it doesn't pan out, I'm going to head straight for the Anyway, yeah, if that doesn't pan out, I'm just going to go straight up to the caves because, you know, we know that that's pretty much the place, right? I just wanted to do thorough inspections of all of the areas that I missed. Ended up getting lost for a while. Ended up at Caldera Bay. Uh, Caldera Bay Mall, I should say. Bayview. All right, I don't think there was anything there. So I am going to adventure to the cave system. Wait, breaks, 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 breaks. Stop. Stop. Well, this is, this isn't going to go well. If I open up the map fast enough, I won't fall down. Haha, <laughs> gotcha game. You know what? Sure, why not? Uh oh. By the way, I feel like I should mention Spencer did confirm that this map will be released for free on the BeamNG Drive repository. When? Not sure, but the end of the year sounds like it was kind of a long assumption on my part. <laughs> Caldera Bay could be available to you sooner than you think. Which is always a good thing, right? I'm not making it up the spaghetti freeway with this vehicle, am I? Drive until it stops working, let's go! Oh, it's gonna stop working, like, now. So, we already know that this party is gonna be in a cave, right? What are the chances that it's gonna be, like, some, some big rock-crawling, off-roading puzzle kind of thing? I feel like Spiel would do that to us. I mean, it's, it's secrets. It's a mystery. It's not supposed to be easy to get to. Actually, I would be kind of disappointed if it was just you go in the cave and it's like, Whoa, here's a mystery, or like a PowerPoint presentation or something. So I'm hoping it's kind of hard to get to it. I'll be completely honest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the cave entrance is right there. And if you're wondering what happened to my beautiful Japanese taxi that I spawned in, um. I tried drifting the freeway and I don't know how to do that, so this was kind of the this was kind of the result. Sorry. Oh, here we are. 
I have watched almost every BMG Drive YouTuber that I watch drive right up to here, and then I've had to turn off their videos. It looks like a relatively smooth road going in. But I'm probably going to want something with a little more light, so let's park this up. I felt like this was the most sensible choice, because it also has four-wheel drive. Let's go. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? As the daylight just goes away immediately. Oh my god. Is that light ahead? Oh, it's another cave exit. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's not a cave exit. It's the lava pool for the volcano. Well then. I'm still in two wheel, so let's not fall into the lava. I haven't had a need for four-wheel drive yet. Although in real life, I'd probably have it on anyway. Alright, we're sort of getting into some four-wheel drive areas now. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to four high. I lose a light? Oh, I lost two lights. Oh, God. I need those. Is that a fluorescent light? Hey, yep. I recognize that sound effect from, uh, uh, Spencer Johnson's, uh, what you call? Well, okay. Spielers Liminal Spaces. This is the sound effect that was playing in the, uh, the red room. <laughs> oh, that looks considerably more off-road than I was expecting. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna allow myself winches to pull myself over. Oh. Okay, both roof lights are gone now. We only have one headlight left. Ooh, this is fun. I like this. I'm adventurer. Using this roamer for what it was built for, eh? I just realized how hazardous it would be to reset the vehicle in here, too. I could end up going through the floor and the walls and everything. So I actually kind of have to be careful, but not really, because it's still possible to respawn the car. Winch. I have to be careful. Throws car into floor with winch. Oh, no. My headlights. All right, let's correct ourselves. Yeah, with the door. Good job. Oh, this is going to be considerably more difficult than I assumed. Alright, let's try to winch ourselves out. I think the problem is this rock right here. Oh, there went the bumper again. There went the normal bumper. Don't know what that was. That was the radiator support, I'm pretty sure. Oh, grabbed it by the... Okay, well... Alright, you know what? No more winches. Winches are not helping anymore. Okay, we either need a more off-road capable car, or I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Alright, up. 
I feel like I've made the same mistake three times now. All right, as you can see, I've pulled back to where the fluorescent light is. Oh, crap. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like our poor Roamer can be our hero car for this. It simply does not have the ground clearance, which is shocking. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the Rock Basher. Now, unfortunately, I don't think the lights up on the roof work, which is just a scam as far as I'm concerned. Oh, God. That one was probably driver error. Okay. All right, we're about back to where we were with the roamer. Really? Damn it. That space might just be a little bit too narrow for anything in the game. Damn. I can't quite see what's going on. There's not enough light for me to determine what's hooking me on this side. Always off-road with friends, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Oh, I see what's hooking me up. Wow, that's tight. Okay, right there. The wheel goes down there and then gets caught. Okay, so I need to go up here. Yes! Oh, we said the Roamer wasn't going to be the hero car. I think it still was, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, my wheel is up on the wall right now. So I need it. Yep, just like that. What is that? Crystals. Ooh. Space crystals? Oh my god. I don't think you understand how long it took me to get here. It's a great challenge. It, it's just... It takes brain. You have to think about a lot. You have to think about where your wheel placement is. You have to think about, like, because it's so dark, you have to kind of mentally map the pathway and figure out why your wheels are getting hung up and flipping you over. It's fun. It really is. I did have to cheese it a little bit and bring the roamer in behind, but you would never go off-roading without a friend anyway. So the roamer provided me with the light that I needed to get out of the section that I was stuck in. But everything else... That was all driving, baby. No teleporting for me. Uh, what was that? <laughs> that that one was the game. 100% the game. That's cool. I love it. I've I've never seen like things that like glow in this game before. I know there was like a sign at Caldera Bay Mall that glows too. I think the Lasers Plus sign. This must be some new stuff, or just stuff that I've never seen implemented in such a such a way before, like maybe in minor applications. But I guess like the head and tail lights glow on the cars, right? I feel like there has to be more though. Oh, oh! Oh, I popped the tire. Oh, there's a rock there. Okay. Okay, I can either continue into the depths of the cave system or go into the spooky, out-of-place corridor. You knew this was gonna happen. You would have been disappointed if I hadn't come in here. I would have been disappointed if I hadn't come in here. Spieler would have been disappointed if I hadn't come in here. Let's go. Oh, is this a maze, Spieler? Ooh. Okay, I'll play, I'll play the maze game. Is this a dead end, or is this door secret? Oh, okay. Oh, there's no... Re <laughs> there's no reverse gear on the base model. <laughs> I forgot. Is 
that a whiteboard? Wait, hold on. I want to go this way first, just in case. Okay. Sorry I'm not commentating much in here. I'm fully expecting Spieler to have put in, like, a spooky skeleton monster that's going to come out and get me. Chairs? Oh, another whiteboard. This is log number one. Finding showcase an underground cave pocket full of mysterious liquid. It has been labeled as Wyola. Okay. Wait, so what did that other whiteboard say? Wasn't there another whiteboard in another room? This is log number three. Oh, I need to find number two. We have started construction on a research facility where the cave pocket of Wyola was found. This facility will help us conduct further testing and research on this newly discovered liquid. And we're just gonna straight up draw the lab plans on a whiteboard in the hallway. Okay. But where's whiteboard number two? So, log number one is in, like, that big room, right? Or is it, was that log number four? No, it was log number one. So these logs aren't in any kind of numerical order. There's a possibility that log number two is, like... I doubt Spieler would have put a secret room. Should I literally go and run into every door just to make sure? Ugh, give me a second. Hi, welcome back. I say welcome back because I'm like 100% sure I'm editing all of that out. I've come to the conclusion that log number two is either further forward or Spieler forgot that the number two existed. I, I, I drove into every single door to see if there was a, a collision. All of the doors have collision. So, on we go. I don't remember, does the light bar on this actually work? Yes. Okay. This must be the Wyola, like, a containment thingy. Is log number two in here? I'm gonna be so sad if it's like log four, log five. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is, oh, uh, this is log number four. Wyola has shown to cause accelerated growth rates, enhanced chlorophyll production, and photosynthesis in plant life. Researchers also theorize that this may be the cause of the life on this island. And if that case, why, why here? Maybe it's the giant space rock embedded in the ground. You know, the one on the beach? Our conclusive research- our conclusive research has shown that Wyola's glow... <sighs> reading. Our con- can you stop moving, please? Can- can you chill? Our conclusive research has shown Wyola's glow to be caused by self-sustaining bioluminescent algae this may be the explanation as to why the oceans of Caldera Bay glow. That was on purpose. I thought so. That looked too nice to be a glitch. We will continue to monitor this island for any changes in Wyola. Oh. So what happened to log number two, Spieler? So at Lansdale. And I mean, why wouldn't you? Look at it. It does good. I would love to see somebody do this to a real van. Uh, <clears throat> I should probably turn it to nighttime for the outro so they can see the the glow. Eh? Eh? Excuse me? Did I just see a whiteboard? Oh my god! Are you serious? Why does the ocean of Caldera Bay glow? Could it be something man-made? Could it be the life water, a.k.a. Wyola? Is this it? Is this the thing that was supposed to, um... start up the, the, the mystery? You know what the issue was? 
When I went around the island, I went that direction. So I would have flown right past this on this trail going that way. Oh my god! And it's log number two, which implies that there's a log before it, right? Oh, that's good, Spieler. That would have been that would have been so good if I hadn't gone the wrong direction at the beginning. Oh, well, there we go. That's all four logs. Five logs. I can't count. It's all of the logs, as far as I know. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Spieler. Spieler. <laughs> I was, do you know how long I was looking for that thing? Spieler, I took the PLP-50 and I literally rammed myself into every door to see if one, one, one of them secretly didn't have a collision in it, in, in that spooky hallway maze. Log number two is out here on the beach. Spieler. Lord. Oh, there goes the car. Well, everybody, we've done it. We've uncovered one of the secrets of Caldera Bay. The reason why the bay glows at night. And I knew, I knew that was not a mistake. That was too well implemented to be some sort of lighting glitch in, in the Beam and G Drive engine. So I'm very satisfied with the fact that there was actually a story behind it. Wyola, which is apparently responsible for the life on Caldera Bay in general. It, it creates an accelerated photosynthesis and chlorophyll reaction with plant life, which explains the lushness of the forest. Because even in real life Hawaii, we're not this consistently green. It might look like it on postcards and things. The area of the Pulley Highway that I put a picture of in the last video, that's rainforest. It's always green. But other parts of the islands don't look like this. So, Wyola explains not only the glowing water, which is a reaction with a bioluminescent algae that apparently only exists in Caldera Bay, but also the plant life throughout the entire map. And would also explain the level of overgrown that the abandoned industrial properties are. Because I don't even think why Kelly Gulch had gotten to the point where things were degrading at that fast a speed. You know, depending on what year those facilities would have last been used. Um, and the question on one of the whiteboards is, well, why Caldera Bay? I don't know, maybe the giant space rock embedded in the main beach has something to do with it. Just a thought, just a thought, maybe the Wyola came from space. I struggle to believe that these scientists missed the giant space rock. But then again, they were underground. They didn't know what was going on on the beach. They never go to the beach. Their friends keep telling them, hey, you should go to the beach. And they're like, no, I got to do science on my computer. So they never came to the beach. They never saw the glowing space rock. Oh, I don't know what the purple crystals are about either, Spieler. Like, is that part of it too? Maybe that's where, like, the glowing? I don't know. Or... Maybe, are crystals caused by plant life? I, I'm not sure how crystals are formed, but maybe that's also an effect of the Wyola, which would also be why they're glowing. Um, it, it was good, Spieler, it was good. I like how you tied that in. And I hope this is practice for something huge, like in the mystery map setting, you know what I mean? Like, like a, a map where you could just chain mysteries together and it's, it's 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 like this big world and stuff and Caldera Bay can be involved too. Um that would be so cool. That would be something something special in BMG Drive, just like Caldera Bay already is. And who knows? That's that's only the mystery that we know about, right? Maybe that was the first one, not the only one. Spieler Spieler's got surprises up his sleeves. There could be secrets in, in, in Bayview Mall. There could be secrets at the hamburger shop that I never showed you because I keep forgetting to include it in an episode and I guarantee I accidentally edited it out of this one and I'll remember when I'm editing the end of the video because I'm saying this right now and I'm going to go, uh, anyway, it was a good time.
It was a good time. Even the rock crawling, it was a good time. I thoroughly enjoyed how difficult it was to get to the set pieces in this, this mystery. Anyway, that's all for me. Now that I've finally finished this for myself, I can watch Neil's, Komodo's, and Sim's videos and see what they did on Caldera Bay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.